All right, everyone, welcome back. I am Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert, author of the books, The Female Fat Solution, The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon, where you can pick them up and learn all about how to eat for your hormones and your cycle. I'm also host of the podcast, The Female Health Solution, as well as um, you can subscribe there and subscribe here on my YouTube to make sure you stay updated on all the information that I have coming out. Let's talk about toxic load real quick. Let's talk about the importance of understanding what your system is exposed to on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, some of this can be individualized, right? Like if you, you know, say you live in an area where you're near a lot of farm field and they spray their crops. Um, maybe you work in an area, you know, in an office building where you're like, it smells musty and moldy in there. That has happened. I've worked with women that they have mold tested their office because it makes a difference. Um, you know, it, maybe you, you know, are, have genetically some issues that your body just does not process things well. When we work together, we dive into how your system is functioning overall. So we're gonna talk about some of these things here, um, but overall, knowing what your Dutch test is, says, your hormone test, your GI map, and then your genetic test. Genetically, there can be some things that are just present that you do not do well. Maybe you're not a good detoxer. Maybe you're prone to inflammation. Maybe you are not a good methylator. Maybe you have a high oxidative stress response. Genetically, again, not that you would have done anything wrong, but having those genetic variants and, you know, it's not about just having it. The environment and lifestyle that you've led, those stress responses have kicked those things on and now they're active in your system and your body has a hard time detoxing on its own. We have to help it along. What do we do specifically for that? Well, that depends on what your hormone test and your gut test tells us. That's how we target these things to turn it around and make sure that the toxic load that you're exposed to throughout the day is as low as possible and your body is processing things out as well as it can. So we look at first things that you're around, endocrine disruptors. Again, this is anything in your environment, in your home, in your work life, in your car, right? If you're noticing anything smells funny, um, maybe you are out in public and you're next to somebody and you're like, ooh, their perfume is giving me a headache. That's a key thing that, that your body is telling you you're not handling those chemicals very well. Um, I remember, um, oh my gosh, I remember being in college and one of the lectures I sat next to a girl who I was friends with, but we had to sit next to each other for an hour. I would always get a headache after that class. Every single time. Yep. This can be soaps, detergents, things in your home or your work. If your work uses cleaning products, um, I know of someone else who it was her, um, the soap that they used in the bathroom. She would literally have her hands break out from it. I mean, there's chemicals in those things that throw off your hormonal balance. They're called endocrine disruptors. How many things are you exposed to on a daily, weekly, monthly basis? And if you're exposed to those things and then genetically you have a hard time processing them out, we have to help your body do that. How do we do that? Well, there's two pathways that move things through the body, a water soluble pathway and a fat soluble pathway. Fat soluble is liver and gut. Water soluble is lymph and urine, your urinary pathway. So those are the two other pathways that we look at. Now, when we talk about gut, liver, gut, we do that GI mapping to make sure we're targeting everything that needs to be targeted, not missing a single thing so that your liver gets to process things through and your gut takes it on out. The other thing we talk about is uh, how we move your lymph, things like dry brushing, Epsom salt baths, rebounding, lymphatic massage. All those things are super helpful for moving that lymph. That way things get shunted through your system on the way out. And even if you are exposed to endocrine disruptors moving forward or that toxic load moving forward, your system can reset itself really quickly. It's really hard to play catch up with this. If you already have, you know, or if you're already loaded with a lot of things that you've been exposed to, and then that one little thing puts you over the edge, sitting next to somebody that gives, it gives you a headache, right? Or just feeling exhausted, feeling crummy, having it mess up your gut even more. It's, it's very little that then puts you over the edge, right? But if we get those pathways open and then you get exposed to something, again, even if it's mold or something like that, your pathways are already open. So your body can shunt everything out that much better. That is an amazing way to go through your life versus trying to play catch up. You're already ahead of the game. And if you do get a headache, it's a little headache. It's a very short lasting one. And you get to move on from it really quickly when your body's functioning better. So these are the things that we dive into when we work together. 
go below this video, click that link, learn more about all the testing that we do to make sure we're diving into the specifics of what your system needs so that it can function better, so you can feel better, and it does not hold you back in life at all. So thank you for being here today. Let me know if you have any other questions and I will see you later.